All right, everyone, welcome back to Calorie Blasters. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the power of being purpose driven and how purpose is going to help you to achieve your goals. And I see I'm taking this channel to the next level. We're going to make this evolve and we're going to take it beyond what it uh, used to be. In the past, we focused mostly on, on losing weight and getting in the shape. Uh, but now I, as I, as I reflect on, on the process and as I go through the process personally uh, of being purpose driven, uh, I find that when you're on your purpose and you're focused, you tend to minimize the negativity in your life. And then consequently, as a side effect of that, you, uh, you, you lose weight and also you also um, focus on bringing positive energy into your life. And so that's what I want to focus on. Uh, in future videos, getting people in the right mindset in terms of understanding how purpose can change your life and how purpose sets you on the course, on the right course uh, in terms of your development, personal development, and then the outcome will be beautiful. All right. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. William Green. And actually, I just published uh, a book a couple of days ago uh, on Amazon. Uh, it's on Amazon now as a paperback as well as uh, a Kindle ebook. And the name of it is uh, The Art of Becoming a Successful and Wealthy Educator in China. Essentially, I've condensed 10 years of my life down into about 122 pages, where essentially I talk about the steps that I went, to, uh, went through to become an educator and also to eventually uh, be able to uh, purchase uh, uh, or buy a house, a uh, property that's worth over. Uh, uh, one and a half million U.S. dollars uh, at present, and also have uh, you know, passive income being generated from multiple businesses uh, and, that I own and projects that I'm involved in, as well as uh, copyright uh, that I that I own and uh, and uh, you know basically contract out to others. So anyway, so it's, it's a long drawn out, drawn out process, but. And for some people, you may be saying, well, why should I read this book? You know, I'm not very interested in, in education. Well, you know, you can see the process that I, that I went through uh, to develop all this. And there'll be some overlap. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're in, in maybe you're in another field or interested in starting another kind of business. Well, you can see uh, there will be some similarities. So there's a lot to learn from there. But the key thing, the key takeaway point uh, in, in the book and also that I want to stress in this video uh, is the, the power of, of words. And, and speaking your purpose into existence and how that's going to lead you to make the, the right decisions uh, because once you've spoken your purpose into existence and, or, or you've written it down, uh, you basically set the course for that to happen. Uh, it's, then it's all a matter of, of actually planning it out and then making a, a, a process. So um, let me talk about something, a more immediate uh, example of this. Uh, when I was writing the book, uh, essentially, in, in by the way, the uh, link to the uh, book is down in the description as well as in the comment section. Uh, and so when I was writing the book, I gave myself a month a month to complete it. So basically, I wanted to have it out before uh, October 1st of, of this year. And, uh, and so what I did first was I wrote down a plan in terms of uh, how many chapters I wanted to have in the book, what topics I wanted to talk about. And then I went online and I did some research in, into how to actually go about publishing it. I also had to find an, um, an editor and a book cover designer, uh, and we had to coordinate our times to reach that goal. But because I knew, I decided from the beginning what I wanted uh, to have, you know, and how long I wanted to take to publish the book. So that set everything into motion so that I had to plan, I had to make sure that everything was going to task to reach that goal. And because, you know, I went through the, the actual steps of actually writing that down, uh, it happened just in the way uh, that I had envisioned. And that would not have happened had I not written it down. So the first thing you want to do uh, with your purpose is to first speak it into existence or write it into existence. And that comes from simply saying what it is you want to do and how long you want to do it, okay? Uh, how, sorry, how long do you want to take in to make that happen? So that is also a very critical uh, component. Now, let me give you an early example of this. Uh, in the book, one of the examples that I share is an email that I wrote to a friend in 2005. This was 15 years ago, where I said to him, hey, you know, uh, I want to go to China. I will, I would not want to, I will go to China. I will uh, set up a, a business. Uh, I will purchase, uh, acquire property in China. 
and looking back on the email, it's very eerie as I was writing the book because it actually came to fruition and actually became manifest just as I'd uh, predicted it back in 2005. So, you know, there's power in speaking your purpose forward uh, and writing it down and sharing it with someone. So if you do have someone that you're close to, uh, really close to that you trust, uh, who's not going to take your ideas away from you, uh, share those ideas with them and speak your purpose into existence. And that is going to help you with a lot of things. And case in point, as I was writing this book, I actually lost weight, uh, not not due to not eating, but due to simply uh, having healthier eating uh, options because I was trying to be fast. You know, I had to, get, you know, I was, I was focused on my book. I didn't really have time to prepare a major meal. So I would have something very simple, like a sandwich or like a salad or something like that throughout the day. Frankly, I didn't really feel very hungry uh, because I was f so involved and invested in the purpose that I didn't really think too much about snacking or anything like that. And so I didn't do it. I didn't snack in between uh, in, in between uh, work breaks. Again, you have to keep in mind that you know, in addition to writing the book, uh, I was also involved in managing several projects. I managed several teams, uh, and so you know, life was. Bad. I, just, I simply didn't have time to engage in. Uh, you know, actions that would be harmful for my health or also engage in conversations that just took away from the precious little precious time that I, I did have uh, manage. Uh, and so, and so that's, that's what uh, helped me to come to the realization about the power of, of purpose. You see, as, as you are involved uh, in purpose and you're letting your purpose guide you uh, in the direction of, of losing weight uh, in the, in the direction of, of being successful, everything else falls into place. All right, everything else falls into place. You um, you don't have to actually uh, actively uh, think about you know okay today am I going to eat a salad or am I going to eat hamburger because you just don't have time to make those bad choices. You are basically as you're focusing your purpose, you're minimizing all that negativity in your life. That's negative people. That's negative. That's things that have a, a, a harmful effect in your body because also as you're involved in this you know as daily you know i'm thinking about these things i'm writing books and managing these businesses what's the purpose of this okay one day i want to be able to uh retire and, and live a good life and you know let's take it easy once all everything is built up so obviously if i'm if i'm eating unhealthy food uh and not taking care of myself then that's not going to happen now is it so that's how i'm thinking so then i'm thinking well now i'm just going to you know i'm going to have healthy food that's, that's a byproduct of wanting to have a good life, right? Because I want to be able to enjoy all this, uh, you know, after all the grind is finished and, you know, I'm in my you know, 60s or whatever. I, you know, if I, if I obviously, I, the kind of person I am, I probably won't even retire, probably keep working until the end. But, um, but you know, the option is there and that's always satisfying that if I don't want to do this, I can always just, you know, let the, let the businesses, let everything run itself. Uh, all right, so... That's how you want to think. You want to think in terms of your purpose, and purpose means thinking long term, long term vision, long term thinking. Uh, de you know, delayed gratification. So putting off, uh, putting off that uh, the negative, the things that are short term that that set you back uh, in favor of doing things that are actually going to move you forward. Okay, so this is the mindset you need to have, and once you've acquired that mindset, uh, you. There's no going back. You essentially you're set in terms of where you want to go, and you're set in terms of, of of just moving in in righteousness. I guess uh, I don't know how else to put it to you other than that. So, but you have to find that you have to be able to find that that person. That person is there. It's there. But you, one of the things you can do is you can uh, read other people's uh, examples uh, that they've went through in their lives to achieve uh, their purpose or get on the path of their purpose. Um, and so well, that's one of the reasons why I shared uh, the book that I've just written. And if you if you do uh, have time, uh, go ahead and, 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 and get that. Uh, I promise you it will be a life changer for you. It'll provide you with some insight that'll set you uh, in, the, in the right direction in terms of finding your purpose in life. All right, so be purpose-driven. Start with your purpose, speak it into existence, make a plan of uh, what you want to do and how long are you going to give yourself to make it happen and then stick to your plan. Be an accountable person who sticks to uh, his or her plan. Follow through on it. Figure out who you need to involve because, you know, it's going to be hard to make your purpose 
work by yourself. You need other people involved. Uh, and also coordinate with them so that they know what the deadline is and that you are working uh, in the direction to make that a reality. And uh, while you're going through that whole process, and by the way, this, this whole process, all of this, all of this is not... It can be, it's fulfilling, it's not necessarily the most comfortable thing if you're working, you know, uh, 12, 13, 14 hour days on your purpose. Maybe you have to work a full-time job and then maybe after work you work on your purpose or your goals in life. It's going to take a very uh, conceited, I'm sorry, not conceited, concerted effort uh, to make it, this happen. And so you're going to have to make some sacrifices. It's not going to be comfortable at first, but... As you become, as you become uh, more used to and familiar with this this process that you're going through, and 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 the fact that you're actually uh, being courageous and brave and putting everything on the line to make your dream come true, uh, the more happiness will replace that uncomfortable feeling that you have. And also, uh, as you start to do it, you you will you will be able to master yourself. And when you master yourself, you you don't have to worry about. Um, issues with weight or issues with food or anything like that again because once you have mastered yourself you have a certain level of discipline and control and poise where any direction you want to go in you can move in that direction and that i believe is the uh, purpose of this life uh and so i want to pass that on to you uh in the form of motivation and inspiration moving forward and i do hope that you're able to gain from uh this video all right so like the video, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever we make an update so you get it fresh, you get content fresh uh, as soon as it's uploaded. Uh, uploaded. Um, comment down below what you'd like to see next. Also, check out my book. It's down in the description, also in the comment section. There's a link. Uh, and check it out. Uh, it will be one of the best decisions you ever made uh, this week or in this life. All right, take care, and uh, see you in the next one.